nonprofit was Community Support Services, also known as CSS. And every week they have a group of roughly 40 employees who roll newspapers for the local gazette. Each of these employees are developmentally disabled and most of them are autistic and they have varying skill levels. So each week they roll newspapers on Wednesdays and they're taught to roll the newspaper a specific way. They all recognize that the Gazette title has to go on the top when they fold it and they have to fold it in a trifold so they know that if the newspaper is backwards or upside down, they know to flip the newspaper over and then roll it in the trifold. However, most of them can only do this. They, they then need to bag it and many people have an assistant to help them bag it. So not all of them, actually very few of them, are able to take the bag and then have the coordination to bag the newspaper by themselves. Most of the assistants hold the bag and then the employee just holds the newspaper there while the assistant bags it for them. Our device will hopefully allow them to increase their independence and do the entire process by themselves. This is our device. It's a movable device which is easily assembled so that the workers can work anywhere on whichever table they choose. And it also has an extra piece of wood which is removable that will help when the tables are different heights. The clamp holds it down. There's a hook here underneath so that the bags can be easily placed. In addition, with the hook, it means that the bags won't slip or fall off the table as they did in our last demonstration, which happens a lot, actually, when the workers are at the tables normally rolling their bags. Then, finally, the cone goes in the little hole up here so that when they bag it, um, the newspaper is rolled easier and kept in place. So they roll the newspaper as they normally do with the Gazette on top. They flip it over and they do their trifold. Some, roll, some of the employees roll the newspaper tighter than others because they're very habitual, so it doesn't really matter how they roll it. It's their preference. They drop it into the little cone, and depending on how tight they roll it, sometimes it'll fall through more than others. And then they take the bag, and they now have two hands because the cone is holding it for them. They can take the bag, they place it around the newspaper, and they can then put it into the bag either two ways. And first of all, they can push it down, or they can take the bag and they pull if they don't have that kind of coordination, and then it's bagged. Donald is one of the higher functioning employees for the Gazette, so he's already able to independently bag newspapers. However, he often had trouble opening the bag and putting the paper in because he found it difficult to hold both the newspaper and the bag at the same time. Most of the employees there who are already able to bag papers by themselves experience the same difficulties. The device allows them to do one step at a time, making the process faster and more efficient. Richard is more severely autistic than Donald, and so he lacks the coordination needed to both roll and bag the newspaper. Initially, he needed an assistant to help him bag the newspaper. He rolled the newspaper and then held it out so that his assistant could bag it. With the device, he is now able to perform the entire process by himself. He learns through demonstration, and the more he goes through the motions of bagging the papers, the better he will become. Although it has taken him a few minutes to learn and he still needs a few occasional pointers, he has quickly picked up on how to use the device and will soon be completely independent in bagging the papers himself. Marissa is one of the faster learners among those that package newspapers at CSS. Before having the device, she had issues with the bagging part of the process which, which the device took away entirely. With the device, Marissa's efficiency went up and the time it took for her to package the papers went down significantly. She had no trouble using the device and was able to use it repeatedly without effort. Donald, Richard, and Marissa represent the various skill levels seen within the crew of people that work for the Gazette, and all of them have been able to use the device, which has either improved their performance quantitatively or qualitatively. So hopefully with time, all of the employees that work for the Gazette at CSS will be introduced to the newspaper packaging device and become more independent with its assistant and will enjoy the task even more.